Was that? Is that okay? Vicare side rail on a Sunvid crib. Everyone, welcome back to The Coolest Dad. Today we're going to install this safety rail uh, here on this Sunvig crib. This is a Sunvig crib with the side taken off. It has the you know optional plank that you can put here and take the railing, you know, the, the basically the side off. So if your kid is big enough where he can climb in and out of there, it's better to switch to this so they can just you know hop in and out of bed. The problem is, especially once the mattress is in there, it's really easy to just roll right out. So I don't know about you, but in the case of my kid, he was big enough to climb in and out, but not big enough to stay in here on his own. So uh, for my first kid, when we took the side off we immediately realized, oh, that's actually pretty bad because the first time he rolls, he's going to roll right out. So we ended up having to like put cushions and stuff to make sure he didn't uh, hurt himself or whatever, but that doesn't really solve the problem. He doesn't stay in bed. So I should have got one of these a lot earlier. Uh, this is actually the exact same piece, like literally the exact same part as goes on this critter bed. It's included there, but you can buy it separately. So in this case, this is the separate one. Uh, it also comes attached to the parts box. And you're definitely going to want to read these instructions and also all the safety guidelines. Definitely measure before you start to make sure that this thing is appropriate for your installation. IKEA sells so many beds and multiple types of cribs. It may not fit every case, so don't take my word for it. Definitely double check on your own. But uh, basically, you just want to make sure that the bed is at least 23 centimeters longer than this rail. So there's some space. You're going to want to put this all the way to one end so that there's no chance that the kid's head will be stuck uh, somewhere and also don't use it on the bed that has kind of the cutout underneath it. So anyway, definitely check those rules and make sure that it's appropriate for your case. Uh, in my case, the width of this thing is about 18 millimeters and it's appropriate for 18 to 25. That one's actually about 20. So anyway, that part's fine. The length is fine. It's actually 330 millimeters longer than this. Uh, so plenty of space. You put it all the way to the end. This one should fit okay, but definitely double check in your case. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see, the instructions are super simple, uh, basically just four steps. Uh, all you got to do is basically put those uh, clamps on each end into the pre-drilled holes and there's a rubber bumper and just tighten it up and make sure that it doesn't come off. So anyway, let's see how it turns out. Okay, and so there's four of these. This is basically the clamp bracket. There's some rubber on this side. And so basically when you tighten it down, it grabs on here. And there's these rubber bumpers which go between the two things, kind of to spring it back. So just tighten it down. Can't go wrong really. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so as you can see, the holes here are actually not centered. So they're more towards the bottom. Have them facing that way, not this way. Uh, so basically the clamps should go this way and this should be readable as in right side facing up uh, when you have it installed and I suggest you do it this way so that your kid can grow up reading and you don't have to see it every day. Okay, a few things to note on these metal brackets. Uh, first of all, as you can see, they are not straight so they kind of zig like this. Uh, you can have them either this way or this way, basically from wide to narrow or narrow to wide. Uh, in the correct installation, you want to have them actually this way and go from narrow to wide. So be wider here. So face each other this way. Also, you'll note that the hole sizes are not the same. Uh, basically, some are big for that threaded sleeve and some are just the right size for the, for the nut, like this, basically, and like this. So yeah, make sure you get the right one in the right place. You can't screw that up, I think, or at least you can't put that one in here. Anyway, let's keep going and make sure that you put them in the right way. Did I get it the right way? No, I got it the wrong way. So something like this, and we'll put it on. And again, double check and make sure that you put it in the right set hole. So the thicker part should be on the top and the lower hole should be further down. So don't get it too tight because you still have to put the bumper in and you have to slip it on here. So keep it a little bit loose. And it should look something like this. Okay. Okay, here we go. So uh, I'm going to put the sticker on the inside. And since my kid is going to be putting their head over here, I'm going to 
put it like this. And she can still get in and out over here. Let's just double check to make sure that this is big enough. So it's about 29, 30 centimeters. It's supposed to be over 23. So that's okay uh, height-wise and everything. I think it's fine. So I just have to tighten this thing up as much as possible because as you can see, it's still loose. Okay, and here you are with the mattress installed. As you can see, fits pretty fine. Uh, just make sure you go back and tighten everything like twice. After you've tightened it, go back and tighten it again. Uh, since this is a rubber bumper down here, it doesn't really stop tightening, so just get it pretty tight. Uh, make sure that um, these things aren't gonna move. You can actually lift up the whole thing uh, from here if you really had to, which means that you know this thing's not coming loose uh, because there will be kids jumping on it. Who knows? You know, in my case, for example, I have a uh, one and a half year old going on two years but I also have a four and a half year old and he's the one who's going to be jumping on this thing the most so just keep that in mind there's going to be bigger kids abusing this thing too and so uh, make sure it's tight and make sure it stays tight and check it every once in a while obviously if you hear it rattling you see it sliding definitely tighten it up right away okay so that's basically it for the Vicare if you have any questions about this thing do let me know in the comment section below I try to answer everything but sometimes I don't check every day, so it might take me a couple days to answer. Um, other than that, uh, the Sunvig, as you can see, has held up. This thing is going on like five years old now. So I can't say we've been using the Sunvig every day because now my kids are kind of in between. So my baby does take naps here, but she actually doesn't sleep here at night. Um, and then also, as you know from my vlogs, my family was back in Japan for quite a number of months during COVID. So anyway, long story short, it's held up quite well continues to hold up quite well. So anyway, yeah, it was like, what, $120 and then the mattress, and we're going on like five years. So either way, it's a good deal, but especially compared to those ones, which are like five times more, those fancy uh, stokes and whatnot. Anyway, so that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you guys next time. Bye. How's that? Is that okay? Each I'm not a fan. Misha, you want to sit on your bed?